All right, I've had enough. And yes, today we are in the serious chair. So Formula One is in an interesting spot at the moment, according to many people. Some people do think that this season has been a little bit boring. And you know what? I guess that is fair enough, of course. No one wants to see a season that is just completely dominated. But one thing I keep seeing consistently just keeps doing my head in and I need to talk about it. Now, there was a study released recently talking about the social reach F1 has had during this 2023 season and that it has actually dropped off. And of course, a lot of people said, see what Max Verstappen and Red Bull are doing to this sport. They're destroying it. Now, in regards to domination, I have some info for you. It happens all the time. All the time it happens. And yes, I will be using this a lot in this video, possibly. Total domination has been part of the sport for a very long time. But you know what hasn't been part of the sport for a very long time? Social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of that. That wasn't around all the time. So of course, you're going to see more people complaining about it. The only time you really saw people complain about the Schumacher dominance or the dominance of McLaren Honda where they won every single race in a season except for one was when you talk to someone, whether it be face to face, over the phone or Morse code. So of course now you're going to see a lot more people complaining and I'm not surprised about that. One thing that just does my head in is that people pretend like this is a new thing. People are bored of F1 because of Verstappen. This is new. This hasn't happened before. This is completely unprecedented that this many people are bored of F1. Now, yes, F1 is arguably more popular than ever. And of course, there is going to be a social media drop off, maybe even a fan drop off after 2021, 2022. Why is that? Because that's how it works. Whether it be people simply getting bored and not wanting to watch it, or some people maybe weren't as into it as they thought they were. And then they just stop watching. That's just how it works. It, it happens like that. I'm really not surprised that after a season like 2021 or 2022, Formula One social media reach or engagement or whatever you want to call it has dropped off this season. You're not going to sustain your prime. If F1 is in its prime in terms of social media engagement and things like that, you're not going to sustain that forever and you would be an absolute fool to think that that is possible. Think of a boxer like, I don't know, Mike Tyson, for example. Did his prime last forever? No. He knocked people out for many years consecutively, but eventually it all catches up to you and your prime ends. Now, yes, I know you might be thinking, why are you comparing a boxer to F1? Because no matter what is in its prime, it does come to an end. An era comes to an end, I guess, in some ways as well. Look at Man United. Look at them now. Exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. And another thing that just does my head in are these people that get online and talk about how boring F1 has become and that they don't watch it anymore. But after every single Grand Prix, they have something to say about how boring the race was. Did you watch the race or did you not watch the race? I have a tip for you. If you're bored of F1 and you don't like dominance, stop watching it. Look right here. This is a television remote. Okay. This here is for a TV. That is the off button. And this is the change the channel button. You can press them whenever you want. Do it. Stop complaining. I've really had enough of people complaining about dominant eras and how boring F1 is now because it's so dominant. Look, this is part of the sport. And if you can't accept that, F1 might not be the sport for you. And look, I'm not one to gatekeep the sport, okay? I think F1 having all these fans, I think it's fantastic. It's been great. It's been huge. I have a YouTube channel because F1 kind of popped off at the right time when I started my channel. But... You cannot complain when a driver dominates the sport. It has always happened. Yes, you get close seasons. Yes, that happens. And when that happens, hallelujah, it's great. We all love it. It makes for incredible viewing. But one thing you need to accept and you need to realize if you watch this sport is that yes, there are going to be boring races. There are going to be boring seasons. Accept it. That's what's going to happen. It always has been like that. Believe me, 
in my, I don't know how many years of watching F1 since I was a boy, there have been plenty of seasons where I am just bored out of my brains because it's just dominant. Nothing's happening. Okay, that's fine. But you can't really focus on that. Focus on everything else that's happening. Why don't you look at how good Alex Albon is doing this season? Why don't you look at the McLaren resurgence? Why don't you look at that a little bit? Why don't you look at the fact that Carlos Sainz seems to be having a better season than Charles Leclerc? Why don't you look at the Liam Lawson situation and how exciting that is? Why don't you look at everything else that's happening? Because yeah, sure, Verstappen might run away and finish 30 seconds ahead of everyone else. But if you look at everything else that's happening in the season, I mean, pay attention to it. Follow these other stories because they are going to mean something in the future. They're going to be things to keep your eye on in the future. Red Bull aren't going to dominate forever. Verstappen's era will come to an end one day. I don't know when it'll be. Will it be two years, three years, four years? I don't know. But eventually it will fall apart. It, it will end. That's just how it works. And again, if you can't deal with that and if you somehow... Don't watch F1 anymore, but for some reason, you know how boring F1 races are. Stop watching it. It's very simple. That is a paper towel roll. Okay, I'm getting my point across with a paper towel roll. That is what it has come to, and that is what it's now going to take. I know that this video is a bit of a rant, but I've had enough. I've pulled out the serious chair for this chat because I have had enough. I really have. I'm sick of people pretending that none of this used to happen before Verstappen and Red Bull. I know a lot of people don't like Max. I know he's a driver that you either love or you hate. Maybe even Red Bull and Christian Horner is somebody that you either love or you hate, okay? But look, don't pretend like this never happened before. I wish social media was around for the 2002 season when Michael Schumacher didn't finish a race below like second or whatever it was, or a podium. He was on a podium every single race. I wish Twitter was around for that, so we just had reactions. So then I could pull that up and say, look, this is the same. People still complained back then, and they complain now, but we don't have that documented on Twitter because social media didn't exist back then. That's all for now. I wanted to talk about that because it is really doing my head in. I'd love to get your thoughts on it, so please comment below what you think, what your take on it is, and I guess that's it. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and future video sneak peeks. And if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit like and subscribe. As always, I truly appreciate your support and I will see you in the next one.